So in this session, we will design the Wilkinson power divider in ADS schematic view. Okay, so in this, we'll first design the power divider in schematic. Then in the next session, we'll design our power divider in the ADS layout. So the thing is, I'll going to design for 3.5 gigahertz. That is sub 6 gigahertz application, you can say. And simply I will talk about the frequency only. Okay. And another thing is that it will be simple 1 to 2 power divider means it will be having a 1 input and it will be having a 2 output power divider. And more important that it will be a equal or you can say uniform power divider means power division will be taken in ratio of unity. So first I'll start with the new schematic go to the schematic and name it as WPD suppose that is Wilkinson power divider and I'll rate the name as 3.5 gigahertz okay I'll click on create schematic okay so my schematic has been created now and I can start designing the power divider for that so now I'll first uh, take some substrate for that so in the library what i can write is m sub that is microstrip substrate so i'll choose one of the substrate later on i can define the specification for that and one more thing if you want to drag means if you want to come on the side right side left side if you have to move in the workspace then simply you can right click on your mouse okay so that you will not need you not need to zoom in zoom out continuously okay so simply if you want to move further right side left side you can just simply click on your right click on your right button of your mouse okay then second is i'll go for mlin that is micro strip line so some three line i'll select first of all one two and three okay so three lines means 50 ohm and then it will be connected with two with the 70 ohm okay and then it will be having isolation register so for the isolation register simply i'll select the register i'll write the name as a resistor okay simply i'll select the resistor and i'll click ctrl r so that it will rotate also so that i can join these two lines to the, to the isolation resistor okay and at last i need one termination for seeing the results at each port for this port and for this port okay similarly for this port as well i'll need this okay so as you can see here this uh, specification of the text component text is overlapping with other component what we can do for that just simply right click over the component and click on move component text and i'll place it in the bottom side for my convenience okay it should be a little bit more near okay close to that okay so now for this simulation i need s parameter so under this simulation as parameter you can just select this sp okay and i'll little bit i'll zoom out and i'll place that s parameter okay so these are the things I need it for my Wilkinson power divider. Now the next task is to make connection between these components. Okay, so that we can have a final look of the divider. Okay, so what we can do, just go to this menu and look for insert wire and click on it and just simply right click come and you can place like this okay simply i will connect my isolation register as well and simply the term g that is termination to the ground that also i'll look for okay next is this one and this one okay and press escape now what i can do okay so to make it more better way better look if i can give so what i'll do simply i'll select this one okay and i'll select 
this one and this one okay. so that it can have a some appropriate look okay another thing is that just like we did in the past that i can move this specification towards outside later on we can specify the specification for each and every m line that is microstrip line okay another is i'll write the s parameters for three for suppose one to five gigahertz okay and similarly the step size means the interval will be near about 0 0.01 gigahertz okay our area of interest will be 3.5 gigahertz because we are designing the power divider for 3.5 gigahertz frequency as a center frequency so that's why it can come within the range okay now next is to decide the specification for the substrate so double click on that now as of now height i'm using as 0 0.508 millimeter okay er that is 2.2 because of your rogers rt derived 5 weighted zero conductivity i'm going to use for gold 4.1 e7 okay and another t is 0 0.015 millimeter tan d that is loss tan delta or you can say loss tangent for the 5 weighted zero substrate will be 0 0.004 okay and i'll click apply and click okay for that okay now next is the important task is to decide the width and length for these m line okay these three microstrip line because we are having a impedance with 50 then 70 70 at both outputs okay and obviously we are connected already we have connected the 50 ohm termination okay and uh, another task to change the isolation resistor value which will be your 100 ohms just so generally we are having a from uh, equal power divider generally this isolation resistor will be having a 100 ohms in case of one to two okay now i'll come with the this 50 ohm line so for the 50 ohm line what will be my width and length so what i can do go to tools go to line calculator start line calculator so in this start line calculator you have an option that you can find out the width and length for different impedances and your effective length depending upon your substrate configuration so that same substrate configuration i am going to perform that is my ers 2.2 okay and hs that is height will be 0 0.508 which will be in millimeter don't forget to change that hu is nothing but your which is not at all anyway as of not required so i'll leave it so it will be 0 0.0151 okay it will be in millimeter second is conductivity is that is gold only 4.1 e and delta will be my 0 0.0004 okay and frequency will be my 3.5 gigahertz okay and what i need i need 50 degree 50 ohms and 90 degree so 90 degree it is not required in case of uh, 50 ohms but it is do required in your 70 ohms so it is given given in mil so we can do as change we can do in uh, millimeter so again it can come as 1.54 and 15.63 remember that for 50 ohm it is not required anyway the length is not required anyway because we are not having any much any change in that 50 ohm but in case of 70 ohm length is important so please note down for this 50 ohm similarly for 70.7 ohm as well it will come as 70.7 and click on synthesize it will give you a 0 0.87 and 15.9 okay so remember that so that only we are going to use for the both 70 ohm m line okay so i'll close or i can minimize that one no issue so what i can do for 50 ohm it will be my width will be 1.54 and length will be 2 mm also i can give no issue but uh, for your convenience i will give as a 115.81 similarly for width will be for 70 ohm line please remember that it will be 0 0.87 length this time i will use as 15.9 only okay I'll check once again that uh, whether it is 
showing this or not okay similarly for my 50 ohm as well for 70 ohm sorry it will be having 0 0.87 same and length will be 15.9 okay isolation register value will be 100 ohm okay so these are the values which was needed to specify okay so the value for 50 ohm line was 50.63 not 81 that only i'll write okay otherwise you can simply go for l equal to 2 mm as well okay now next task is to simulate that so we can start for simulation just go to this option and click on simulate it will take hardly of one second to two seconds of line of time okay and just click on this option that is your rectangular plot and click on this go to s11 go to add and click on db and click okay okay so this is showcasing us near about to 60 uh, 60 db which is quite good enough at 3.5 gigahertz if you want to see the exact value what you can do go to the marker just like place a valley marker on this curve which is showcasing us 3.5 gigahertz near about at 65 db which is quite good enough similarly for another s22 as well i can plot my s22 i will see whether it is coming or not so s22 is also same only similarly for s33 as well i'll put one graph click, click add click ok and ok so it is having much better so the value for this s33 why it is minus 60 and it is why it is sharp so note that that our term g was nothing but my input port actually so that is this one okay that is written as term g3 num num3 number 3 that is okay so that's why it is input port and that's why input port we are having a very good return loss that is this one so i'll keep it this one and i'll shift these three graphs to that okay so in this way we have plotted our return loss at each port that is input port and these two are nothing but your output ports correct now next is to find out the isolation between second and third port. that is sec first and second board because these two are nothing but my output ports. so what i can do just simply again go to the rectangular plot place that rectangle plot and simply click on 2 3 or 3 2 anyone you can choose for that add db click ok so it's coming around to my minus 3 db which is quite acceptable now 3 db loss will be there because we are having an equal power division between the two ports okay next uh, another graph which you can see is that related to the insertion loss between input and output port that is 2 1 add db and click ok insertion loss is also very good similarly to 3 1 also you can see means very less amount of energy is transferred or you can say power is transferred from output to input that is called as reflection cell okay so this will be my graph for the transmission coefficient that is from input to output okay so this is nothing but your insertion loss the so 3 db insertion loss is there which is quite enough this will be your nothing but your isolation between output ports that is first and second output ports remember third port is our nothing but your input port actually so just by numbering it's changed otherwise all the graphs are fine only. so that is return loss as both output ports first and second at input port that is number three by default as per the design which is quite good at the resonating frequency of 3.5 gigahertz which is coming out of a 60 db isolation between two ports between both the output ports is also more than 50 db okay similarly the isolation between the two ports is also uh, isolation between or sorry the isolation uh, insertion loss will be also 3 db 3 db be between the input and output ports okay so i hope you understand this design and uh, remember that this is the 
schematic of your power divider so generally in case of your any documentation part or any research part it is quite required and it's very good that you are having a that designing skills to design the power dividers okay so anyway it is for uniform power divider we can go with multi-stage power divider and even the non-uniform power divider that can be also done okay so i hope you enjoyed this session and you got the designing point okay thank you